What's up guys? So as you can see in this thumbnail, finally got the Smart Smoke, the EELD 500. You know, you gotta love those uh, multi-purpose tools, those multi-functional tools. I've had this one on, you know, the want list for a long time now, but I figure we'll go ahead and break this one down, show you guys what it comes in, maybe do a quick review on it, the things I know about it. See what you guys think. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. Here's all the accessories it comes with up close. It pretty much has a full set of block offs. Here's the glasses, a nice UV light and flashlight. And it's got UV on there. Heavy flashlight, here's your diffuser. Here's for exhaust or intake or however you're using it. And then it's also got a bigger one for the bigger exhaust and bigger holes, bigger intakes and things like that. You got your wireless remote. Here's for the vacuum. It also gives you a little tool to get the Schrader out of the service port. And then it comes with, actually this thing comes with two fittings, two of the most popular air fittings. And then obviously your user manual and tester and then your first steps instruction list. So nice kit. And then it also has the solution too. So a nice kit to start you off with. A bunch of accessories to get you up and running with this thing. So I just filled up the machine with the snap-on UV solution, got the power cord ran, we'll go ahead and power this thing up. And as soon as you power it up, it gives you a five second operation to you know, choose what kind of air is going into it. So obviously it's going to give you shop air, it's going to give you nitrogen or CO2. I use shop air, but you can get the aftermarket accessory, you know, the CO2 tank you could put on the back. After that it's going to run that. It goes into default Orifice Select 20 thousandths for 2000 and newer. It's got the older 40 thousandths for 99 and under, and then obviously something about a future use with 10 thousandths. Um, the next one, and then you could change it, obviously, your Orifice Select to whatever column you want. This thing's got a uh, automatic leak check for you. You could uh, it sets the default off the K, but you could hit the you know start five minute button and it automatically self cabarets smokes the system and lets you know the size of the leak you have or if you have a leak at all. So that's pretty cool. Um, but after you select your orifice size, um, you could click down to flow. It gives you a flow in liters per minute, digital display. And then you could click down again and you could also check for vacuum, which is actually really cool because I've ran into a few where uh, especially on those EVAP leaks, you know, it doesn't leak in pressure, but it does leak in vacuum. It just depends on the way the hose broke, you know, it, the hose kind of split on an angle, so it would act like a one-way valve, you know, when it was pressure, it would hold, but when it was vacuum, it would leak through. So that's really nice, and then it gives you the opposite fitting here. You could just hook a vacuum pump up to it on this little nozzle here, so check for that. This thing does have a, a polarity protect, so if you hook it up backwards, it's not going to turn on. The LED light will light. It's also got the remote, so while you're on the car, you could turn it off and on wirelessly. Smoke it, not smoke it. It gives you a low flow to kind of give you more smoke when you're smoking it. All right, guys, so I just cut the smoke tube off here, but pretty much going through, after you're done go setting all your selections and all that stuff, what display you want to see. Obviously we're going to be checking 
pressure for, for a leak down test in it. You got 20 thousandths. Uh, you ran your five minute you know, self calibration check. Maybe it passed, maybe it didn't. But then you set it up, hook up shop air. We got our shop air hook up on the back here. We got air in there now. You can see automatically starts to smoke and you can see the smoke it produces there. And then if you hit the low flow, I'll hit it wirelessly here. It'll give you low flow, it just pulses smoke, so it's kind of easier to pinpoint. I thought that was a pretty neat selection. And then checking your leak, obviously if I held it here, you could see the screen start going up. There we go. You could see zero, no leak at all. I let off, and you could see it's measuring in liters per minute. So I kind of cap it off a little bit, you can see it start to drop down. So a real nice digital output display there. So pretty nice. You turn it off and then go down to uh, if you want to check for vacuum. They got the little accessory tube here. You pretty much just hook it up to this side and then you could hook your vacuum pump up to it and check it for vacuum. So basically now we're down in the vacuum and then we could just put the vacuum to it and it'll test for vacuum. Obviously this will be on, on the service port adapter or however, wherever you got this hooked to, the gas tank, if you got the connection for it. So pretty cool menus in this thing. Um, definitely dig it. A lot of accessories for it. Between the CO2 tank, they got a little cover for it. They got a bit, the NICAD, ba NICAD battery for it. So pretty cool. And then you could also buy another, you could smoke from two different ones. This thing, not only for the vacuum, but you could put smoke through it in both ways. Let's see if it'll go do it through here. You got smoke coming through this one and this one. So you could smoke both exhaust pipes. I thought that was pretty cool. You can see here. Thought that was a pretty cool setting. So if you want to smoke different areas, you want to smoke by the gas tank and up front by the service port, or both tailpipes if you're looking for an exhaust leak, or if you're looking for a differential leak, obviously you could just stick this down into the differential breathe tube, check it for that, set all your settings on it, intake leaks, you know, you could smoke from, if you got another one of these, get the adapter, got another one of these, you could smoke from the throttle body, you could smoke from the crankcase, however, but definitely nice features on this thing. This thing's definitely built well. I can't wait to get this thing in use. That's pretty much it. Or for select, this thing does have, let's try to see if it'll pass the test here. We'll go to uh, orifice size leak. Go to start. Give it a little bit of a leak here and see if it passes. You can see right away when I hold it, as soon as it hits 20 thousandths, that pass light lights up. But if you sit there and let it leak, after five minutes it'll show fail. So I thought that was pretty cool. That's obviously a full leak, but really neat. Nice and quick and easy. Turn off, shut your vent valve, make sure the purge valve's blocked off and closed and not leaking. Run the test and it's gonna tell you, after a fix, it's gonna tell you you're good in, within five minutes. But definitely cool settings. It's also got an automatic shutoff. After eight minutes, it just powers down. And if you want to keep it awake after five minutes, you could just hit a button and go to your selection again. Definitely a nice unit. All right, guys. So that's a wrap. Definitely can't wait to get this tool in action. You know we'll be revisiting it as soon as I get this thing to use, put it through the ringer. Can't wait to check this thing outside of just normal EVAP leaks. That's why I love those multifunction tools. Some of the great features is obviously the UV die, being able to use it with the Snap-on BK8500 camera I use. You know, I've ran into those EVAPs where, you know, you see smoke at the top of the gas tank. You can't get your head up there to see it. You get that, that camera lens up in there with the UV that picks up the UV, glows on the screen. Got that on order. You'll be able to pinpoint exactly where those leaks are. Use this thing for obviously differential leaks. Use it, you can use it for oil leaks, obviously putting it down the dipstick, sealing off the system, empty the crankcase, and wherever you pick up that UV dye, you'll be able to see exactly where it's leaking from and not have to wash the motor and run it and be able to you know, pinpoint fresh oil coming down, make quick work of that. Uh, definitely love the vacuum feature though. That's definitely nice. I've ran into situations where, you know, where the hose split, it held pressure just fine. It acted like a check valve. It held pressure just fine. But when it came to vacuum, I'd get a leak and it'd be over 20,000. So 
making quick work of that, being able to double check my work afterwards. Say you do a repair, you know you got a leak, you do a repair on it, and then hook this thing up, let it self-calibrate, run the test for you, make sure it's you know pass or fail, you know if you, you got it right, but all the accessories it comes with, all the accessories you could grow with, using this thing with the Varus, using this thing with the camera. I can't wait to get it out there, guys. But let me know what you guys think of this tool. As always, like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one. Signing out.